Derek Armstrong, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of University of South Pacific, members of the Diplomatic Corps, um, art lovers, artists, and ladies and gentlemen, beloved Naka to you. It's always a pleasure to be, at, uh, be here at USP. <coughs> I am um, uh, not a substitute for Honorable Attorney General, but I've been asked to stand in for him, represent government here today, this evening. University, uh, universities have a number of functions, and a function that often universities shy away from is to um, spend and invest on arts. Generally, uh, with uh, the uh, pressure on universities to generate revenues outside state funding, they tend to shy away from offering programs which are uh, low in uh, uh, returns, have less returns or uh, negative net returns, and tend to uh, uh, invest more on uh, programs that would generate net uh, or positive returns. But universities have a role to play in terms of helping countries deliver onto the kind of society that we want to have in future. And the entire Pacific region have a lot of hope on USP in terms of defining, based on the broad vision that we have, the future Fijian, future Pacific societies. The establishment of a center for arts with performing arts and visual arts is a commendable step taken by USP. The performing arts section is doing extremely well. Some of the, um, uh, some of the artistic performances that they have, um, it's world class. So in my view, with the little information that I have, it is quite Polynesian biased. But I'm sure at some point in time, we will have a pretty well-balanced performance from the center. Ladies and gentlemen, what does art demonstrate? We generally tend, as, you, as a function of university, as one of the functions of university is to store stock of knowledge. And there will be a set of researchers who will expand the body of knowledge. And storage of knowledge often tends to be in the form of textbooks and other writing outlets, like journal articles. But there are knowledge which do not tend to be captured well through the traditional forms of knowledge capturing, which is the textbooks or written, written material, written um, outlets. Visual arts, performing arts, helps a lot in terms of capturing those knowledge out there which do not tend to be captured or are not being able to cap be captured in a way which could portray the true message, the true picture of the stock of knowledge, of historical stock of knowledge. That is one of the key functions of visual and performing arts. And it is revealed through the imaginary creative skills of people. Universities who are able to go outside the traditional role and mainstream the stock of knowledge out there in the society, which do not fall, fall within the formal sector of the qualifications framework, is a commendable output of universities. Normally universities tend to shy away and give recognition to knowledge through the formal qualifications pathway. But there is a lot of knowledge out there in the society and the community which needs to be mainstream. But the formal qualification pathway tends to shy away, not do that because those who hold this body of knowledge do not have any, any formal qualifications. So institutes such as this allows the university to mainstream this knowledge out there, capture it through visual arts, performing arts, as well as 
pass it down to the contemporary people and future, future generation as well. And USP must be applauded for that work that they have done and is doing towards that. In fact, I've been thinking that one of the niche areas of USP would be this. Uh, there's no other institution in the entire Pacific who has gone this far in terms of capturing Pacific arts. Ladies and gentlemen, as alluded to by Professor Armstrong, one of my portfolio is heritage and arts. We have spent very little time over the last two years. So we have started work on uh, this area, but I must say in the grand scheme of scheme, thing, I spend very little time in that. One of the reasons is that we lack expertise within the ministry. And I don't expect to have expertise, but to, tend to tap into the expertise out there with the USP and other institutes. It is for this reason that we have appointed three months ago, or two months ago, the chairman of our Pacific Arts Council from USP, Mr. Anglesey Edson. He had been wanting to meet me for some time, but I told the director, tell him to come, pick up his letter and get the work started because I want him to give an open mind, an open chance to set up, re reorganize the Arts Council and start to work there. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, it's my pleasure uh, to be here today to open the arts exhibition. And I must want to assure that we will um, invest in these areas which will contribute to defining and developing a balanced and a peaceful and stable, prosperous future Fijian 